Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you how to solve AMD install package failure error, which may look like, like this. So, first you're going to have to update your BIOS and try to update your Windows using Windows Updater or from your um, laptop's website. And then if that doesn't help you, you may try this. So right now I'm using this cat driver installer. Um, this is this. It's, it's the latest version for Windows 10 also. So, I'm going to set up now. I may get an error just like you guys. It's just a single one like uh, the way you install. I'm sorry, guys, I'm not good at English. Sometimes people get stuck at the previous screen, which, uh, which can be easily fixed. You just move your set of files to your desktop and reinstall that. They won't give a bug. So I make it stuck right here at installing AMD Cat Catalyst Install Manager. Oh, no. Inst um, Catalyst Control Center, right. This may go. Just a little bit. So, I can give you a link to the address right here. Okay, I think it's done. Right. Okay, I'll be RB guys. Hello again guys, so this is what I've been facing, AMD install install package failure and right on the AMD Catalyst Control Center. So just ignore that place, OK, and then let the setup set up run. So after doing this, it will just finish. I'll be back again guys. So hey guys, sometimes it uh, shows uh, an orange color, mine is in red, it's not a problem, it says fails occur during installation, so let's finish it, and don't restart right now, so select no, and then go to computer, oh, I'm right here, so, go to your installation package, package, and then select, wait, um, so you are right here, select package and then apps, so here are lots of apps right here. Then I was facing a problem right uh, at Catalyst Control Center so I'm gonna be choosing right that. And then core statics I think, yep. And then right click, go to properties. And then wait, uh, go to security and give system select system which gives it full control and then click OK and then install it. So in this is catalyst control center which was not able to install using the main install so that I'm using optional install. Wait. So, so it turns out pressing the ignore button won't do anything so just don't hesitate press ignore and then restart and it will, it will fix the problem look the two options are selectable 
the problem is fixed and then you can do whatever you want so if this solution helped you please don't forget to like this button if you want to subscribe then sub subscribe sorry and then so yeah peace out